So, uh, first I'd like to thank uh, all the students who um, have written letters nominating me for this award. I know that's not an easy thing to do, and I, I write letters of recommendation, so it's not an easy thing. So I'm really um, grateful for everyone, including the speakers and other students who um, took the time to do that. And I also thank the Dorsey uh, Committee. I know they had a tough decision, and I'm glad, it's an honor to be uh, selected this year for the award. Um, so this, and I also want to take a chance to, th to thank my family um, who supported me and enabled me to do the work I do on our campus. So back there we have my husband, Matt, who is a professor at Cal State Fullerton, and my twins, they is there on the side, I think, with someone being noisy, so he stepped out for me. <laughs> And um, yes, anyway, I don't know because they, they enabled me to do everything I do here by being my support team at home. And this particular award means a lot to me for a few reasons. So one is, as a professor, right, we're here for the students, right? So students are, are everything, and to be nominated by students for an award is um, the most amazing feeling because we're here for you, and to, to think that I made a difference in the lives of um, some students is a really rewarding thing for me. Another th thing is that I also appreciate this work because I sometimes feel insecure as a mentor. I think trial professors feel that way. Like we, you know, could always be better or doing better. So I always feel I have a lot to work on. And, and I think as I'm conscious of my weaknesses and flaws, that makes me um, feel that way. So anyways, this, this definitely makes me feel I'm hopefully doing something right, and I've, I'm really happy about that. I've learned so much from the students in my lab, and they've really have changed me as a professor and mentor. So when I first came to CSUN, I felt I was more of a boss in terms of like uh, running a microbiology lab, kind of thinking what we're due. And as I became more aware of the talent in my lab and how students could see things that I didn't see and you know, come up with their own hypotheses or create their own project, I really um, became less and less of a boss and more of a coach because I really um, appreciated what everyone can bring to the table and even to the point of getting, trying to get shy students to be sharing their thoughts and ideas. Uh, another thing in my lab is that, uh, is that I also learned that I was not good at picking people to join my lab in the beginning. All the time, sometimes I was, sometimes I wasn't. And what I learned was that uh, the students in my lab were actually the best people to pick the new lab members. And that is because it's not only me training new students, I actually can't train all the students I train, I need a whole team doing that. So all the students in my lab participate in the training of new students. So it's really important that they help choose who they're gonna be working with and training because I can't do it alone. So, right, so this, even though this award is for me, I kind of share it with all these people, like Christina, Ram, and Red, and the rest of you out there, because you guys have helped to train people too. It's not me doing it alone, they've been paying forward the knowledge and training they get. And another thing for being a team player, like I, in the beginning I was Dr. Bray, and now I'm, I just go by Sean, because I want to really, you know, not have a hierarchy, but really kind of make everyone feel we're part of a team. And in the lab, one of the most rewarding things to me is to walk in, in every day and hear conversations not just about science, but about politics, about what's going on at home, uh, personal issues at home, or boyfriend, girlfriend issues, right? So I'm really glad that everyone brings us up to the table because they feel safe to talk about, you know, potentially vulnerable information. And I think um, to me it's really important to have like a safe place for everyone to be to be themselves and to be accepted and to be supported in a non-judgmental way. And that's something that I try to do myself by participating in, in having open conversations with my, my team. Um, so um, what I'd like to say is that I, uh, I'm again so grateful for um, the opportunity to work with all my students and uh, especially to share in their successes um, like when Christina first got her job at the Mark Fisher Scientific, I was so excited. She made my day when that, I got word of that. And then when Ram got his first interview at her med school at UCSF, um, and Red got his um, internship at UC Davis, and everyone else sent him back there for his clinical lab science.
joining the ship. So anyway, so it's really fun for me to be part of everyone's journey and to be getting excited with them. It's something that I really enjoy, um, being part of your stories. And I hope that we'll continue to be part of the stories after you uh, graduate. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm, just, I'm really grateful for this opportunity, and I thank, again, um, for this opportunity to work with everyone. It's great, and thank you very much.